What's in my camera bag for 2019? Let's find out. My name is Magnus Detmar and I almost said 2018. Today I wanted to show you what's in my camera bag because I'm a normal vlogger, I'm not a very professional videographer, photographer, etc. What I just want is the simplest, lightest, easiest vlog cameras to use when I'm out shooting cool, awesome stuff because you have to be spontaneous with your camera, right? Especially when you live here in Shanghai, China, as I do. Here, there's things happening like that. It's not like you can rig up your whole system. The coolest camera that I just got, I'll show in the very last of this video, so hang in there and I'll show you all the gear I bring in my camera bag every single day, when I'm out vlogging at least. So of course the first one is the GoPro. The GoPro is a must for every vlogger. It's not that it's a very good vlogging camera, it's just that this is so compatible with so many different things. I have actually shoot a lot of vlogs on just this one. This one is the GoPro Black Hero 7 because this one got a badass stabilization and you can do a bit of a modification with it and then it becomes a super duper good vlogging camera. <laughs> Uh, well, uh, this one is way better when you're gonna vlog. If you want to vlog only with a GoPro, you have to get a cute little microphone like this one. You have to get a case like this that can hold the microphone. And it's also good to have this like selfie stick so you can... But uh, hi, my name is Mike Stepper, I'm the Shanghai vlogger. Um, this, this is a really, really good combination if you want to improve or if you want to make the vlogging from your GoPro better. This is the way to go. Now up for the next one. Camera numero dos is my G7X. This camera I'm getting back to more and more in the last few months because this is a badass vlogging camera. It's very good because it has the huge screen on the top so you can see what you're actually saying. So this is really good when you're gonna vlog around your life like that. Um, this one is a little bit bigger, it's a little bit more bulky, however it produces some awesome footage and the stabilization is super duper good as well. So this is a camera I always bring with me when I'm out vlogging. It also has some zoom which is very good complementary to the GoPro because GoPro is like as wide as you freaking can. This one has like a lot of zoom so um, yeah I always bring this with me in my camera bag it's also very cool now up for the next one just kidding Mavic Pro the first generation this camera has brought me so much good footage wherever I've been either it's here in Shanghai or in Tokyo or in any other places where I have used this this is so freaking good I haven't felt the urge to actually upgrade yet because I don't know the, the old one shoots still such a good footage so upgrading first of all it's super expensive second of all I haven't, I, I can't really see the difference between the old and the new one in the footage that people show on YouTube. So this one works super good. It's always with me wherever I travel. One tip though, in Asia, when you're traveling with these batteries, these batteries you can't actually bring in your check-in luggage. You have to bring them on the plane because these bad boys are so strong that they can actually explode if you bring them into the actually check-in bag. So Mavic Pro is still a go. That's a terrible rhyme. Up to the next one. When it comes to audio, this is the absolutely best microphone out there. This I've used a lot in my videos last year in 2018 uh, because this one brings such a good audio quality to your vlogs and what I found in the in the first vlogs that you've probably seen on my YouTube channel like one, one and a half year ago, the audio was such a terrible thing in my vlogs. They're like, you can barely hear what I'm saying. 
but with this one it's clear, crispy. Good sound. So this one, it's a must. I have it in my camera bag every single time I bring my big ass 70D. Talking about the 70D, I still use the 70D. That's what I'm recording on right now. That's why you get this crispy, crispy image of me talking. Uh, I also always, always use a lens that's 24 millimeters one with 1.4 aperture because it just sucks in all the light to the camera and give this beautiful, beautiful picture of you. However, that camera is actually the most terrible vlogging camera that you can bring in your life. Yeah, you heard me right. I know Casey Neistat had made his whole career on this 70D, but as a vlogging camera, it's actually a terrible camera because it's huge. It doesn't have very good stabilization and when you put a lens on it that's not stabilized at all, then the footage becomes super duper shaky. So I don't recommend that camera for nobody unless you're just gonna do like I'm doing now, sitting down with a camera on a tripod, talking to it, explaining something. If you're go going out vlogging, actually the 70D I feel is a terrible camera. What I wanted to show you last is absolutely the best vlogging camera of 2019. I want to show you a couple of more things though before I show you. I learned this from Peter McKinnon. Thank you, Peter McKinnon. So in this, ooh, I don't know if you see, I bring, I bring a lot of memory cards. And in this, I have one 128, a couple of these like adapters for the very small one. I bring this super, super, super duper, you can't even see, it's not even in focus. Close them up. And this is a lid of a uh, camera. You know, when you have, when you buy the 70D or any other DSLR, you get the camera of the, where you put in the lens. And then on the other side is the back of the lenses. There you have a cover as well. So if you put those together, it's perfect. And last but not least, Yeah, I got the Osmo Pocket, guys. This camera, I believe, will be the best vlogging camera of 2019. Yeah, you heard me right. This is the camera that I've been looking for since I started this vlogging YouTube game or whatever it's called. This camera is badass. I've just been trying it a little bit and I will give you a totally tech review about this camera but look how small it is what i've seen so far is that it's so stable when you walk around vlogging like this the audio quality is good because it goes directly into the microphone it's so stable when you shoot it's like an amazing amazing camera to vlog for so i'm super excited to kick off 2019 with this camera I don't know how it will be or how it will look because I haven't really actually shot a whole vlog on this camera. But stay tuned on my channel, hit that little subscribe button and also the bell button. Bing, 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 bing. And I'll bring you a tech review about this Osmo Pocket. I will always bring this with me when I'm out vlogging around in the world. I won't talk more about it now though. So now when I've showed you all this stuff that I have in my camera bag, you kind of notice that they're quite small. And that's the key about these new cameras. Everything that I just show you, except for the 70D of course, everything I can fit in this small little bag. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that like the dream for a vlogger 2019? Yes, and I'm gonna bring you as many vlogs as I freaking freaking can. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.